Howdy, howdy, howdy. False Kills here, coming out with another video. And in today's video, we're talking about Blood of the Dead. Blood of the Dead is a reimagining of Mob of the Dead, which is one of my favorite zombie maps ever. So when I heard Blood of the Dead is coming to BO4 Zombies, I was excited. I was thrilled. I was like, I can't wait to play this map. It's going to be the best map in Black Ops 4, regardless of DLC, regardless of what's on disc. And boy, was I wrong. Blood of the Dead is not that good of a map. It's not terrible, but compared to Mob of the Dead, which it took a lot of inspiration from, it's pretty bad. First off, Mob of the Dead is amazing, and it's hard to top that. So I didn't expect the map to beat Mo uh, Mob of the Dead. But what I did expect is that they wouldn't change too much. And they changed a lot. First off, the Golden Gate Bridge. One of the coolest things about Mob of the Dead. Gone. Not in the map. That's just one negative. One thing they changed that was for the worst. You know the afterlife system? One of the most unique things about Mob of the Dead? Yeah, yeah, it's gone. You can kind of get it with the shield, but it's nowhere near as cool as Mob of the Dead. So, yep, that's gone. Alright, that's just a couple things. You know the uh, mobsters? One of the coolest characters we've ever seen in zombies? Yeah, 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 they're gone too. Instead, they've been replaced by the Ultimate Crew, which isn't terrible, but compared to the mobsters and how cool they were, it's kind of a letdown. That's just a couple changes. What else could they have really changed? Well, they added dogs to the map. You heard me. They added hellhounds to, into Blood of the Dead. And if you've played BO4 Zombies, you know hellhounds are extremely broken. They're extremely frustrating. And yes, I know they fixed them, and now they're not, uh, they're not as overpowered as they were when the game first came out. But man, they really hurt my first impressions of the map. So, ugh, it's off to a train wreck, and we're just getting started. Catwalk is one of the worst ideas I've ever seen in zombies. It is almost as bad as the lava on transit. First off, what is the catwalk? Well, the catwalk is a, portion of, is a portion of the map, which is pretty much a bridge leading out of Alcatraz Island. So you think, oh, I'll open the door and then go across the bridge. Well, as soon as you open the door, an alarm sets off and zombies come flooding in. Right? So you gotta mow down zombies in front of you. And if you're not fast enough, zombies will spawn in behind you and sandwich you. You might be thinking, oh, well, I can get through. The, I can get through the catwalk. It's not that big of a deal. Well, as soon as you get off the catwalk, hellhounds just start spawning in until you actually get into the prison. And like I said, when game when Black Ops Four first came out, hellhounds were extremely broken. Even now, since everything's been patched out, I still die a lot of the time on the catwalk. I still will have at least one down on the catwalk at the very start of the game. And this isn't optional. No, you have to do this. In order to get to Alcatraz, in order to get to Alcatraz Island, you must cross the catwalk. Who thought that was a good idea? Now, look, I do like the catwalk because for some of the Easter egg steps, it does jazz it up and it does add a bit of difficult, uh, difficulty to the Easter egg. But force play, to force players to do this every game, in my opinion, destroys replayability. Which is one of the things that zombie maps need to have is replayability. Because there's no replayability, and no one's going to go, you know what, I'm going to go play that map. This is the reason why Blood of the Dead, in my opinion, is one of the worst line maps in BO4 right now. There's just little replayability. The catwalk is so frustrating. A lot of time I go, you know what, I'm going to play Blood of the Dead. I think the catwalk, I'm like, you know what, I'm going to play 9 instead. And not only that, but Mob of the Dead in general was a close quarters map. Blood of the Dead didn't really improve this. It's still close quarters. You should be going, oh, that's fun, that's a bit of difficulty. It did, back in BO2 and BO3 and BO1. In BO4 Zombies, the zombies have been kind of changed to where instead of them following you, they track you. What's the difference? Well, in the older games, zombies would stay behind you. They wouldn't really, they didn't really know where you were going to go. They followed you. In this game, they track you. They can kind of predict where you're going to go, and it will cut you off. In an open map like 9, this, is a, this isn't a big problem. It adds difficulty. It makes the map more fun. In a map like Blood of the Dead... This makes the map more annoying, because you're going to die a lot. And a lot of your deaths are going to seem unfair. And that's never a good recipe. Never. It's just not fun. Again, I feel like if Blood of the Dead was moved over to, like, let's say, BO3 Zombies, it would be it would have been a better map. It would, no, by no stretch of the imagination, it would have been a great map. But it would have been better. Now, when I, when I talk about uh, Voyage of Despair, I'm going to talk more about the zombie AI. But I have a lot more I need to talk about, and I'm running low on time. Even though I've been really negative about the, about Blow the Dead, there are some great parts of the map. First off, the story is really good. 
Now, I don't like mentioning the story too much when it comes to zombie masks because, well, I don't know a lot about it. In Field 3 Zombies, I stopped caring about the story because I thought it was bad. Now, my opinion has not changed that Well the Dead has kind of improved that story. Maybe kind of like, maybe like it a little more. Maybe I should go back and research some more, some older videos so I understand Blood of the Dead better. And I'm going to try to simply explain this isn't a good explanation. If you want a better explanation, go look it up on YouTube. You'll find people who can explain it much better than I can. Pretty much the Ultimus crew is stuck in a cycle. And right now they're going through the cycle again, except for something changes. This bridge allows them to break the cycle. Now the question is, will the cycle end up repeating itself? Or is the cycle broken and we'll finally get a good ending to zombies? Well, we're not going to know until DLC maps come out that involves the Ultimus crew. You know, the Ether storyline. And that's not going to happen for a while because, well, that's for a different video. Well, pretty much this has got me hyped for the rest of Black Ops 4. And I can't wait for these maps to come out. And that's a great thing. It's got me excited for, well, the rest of Black Ops 4. And another amazing thing they did was they added the Magma Gat. The Magma Gat is an upgraded version of the Blender Gat. And, woo, it's amazing. Possibly the best one weapon in all BO4 Zombies. This was a great change, because Mob of the Dead never, didn't really have a one weapon that was super good. They had the Acid Gat, but that was a bit, yeah, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't great by any stretch of the imagination. Magma Gat is amazing, and bringing something Mob of the Dead desperately needed. So, good change. Unfortunately, though, when Black Ops 4 first came out, the Acid Gat was bugged, and zombies wouldn't go after it, so you couldn't use the Acid Gat. The Magma Gat, again, zombies weren't going to go after it. They eventually patched this. Uh, the Magma Gat still doesn't work as well as it should. But it's still really effective and still really deadly. They did fix the Acid Gat, and the Acid Gat is so much better. But still, though, just make it, a ma make it the Magma Gat. Magma Gat is miles better than the Acid Gat. Without a question. Overall, I give this map a 4 out of 10. This map was a re was a reimagining of Mob of the Dead. So it's fair to compare the two. And overall, Mob of Dead is the superior map. Even though reimagining is supposed to improve off the original. This one did not improve. This one was worse. A lot of the changes they did was bad changes. They did have some good changes, such as the story, uh, the Mammagat. But all the bad changes they did, like taking away out the afterlife system, adding in the uh, catwalk, kill the map. It kills replayability, and at the end of the day... Replayability is the most important part of a zombie map. Like, share, and you know what to do. Tell me down in the comment section if you agree with me. And if you disagree with me, tell me why. I would like to read your comments and reply. I will be doing more reviews over B with 4 Zombies, so subscribe for notifications because they'll be coming out soon. Hopefully before DLC 2 comes out on Xbox. 